What up, Swag Nation and Swagster? And if you can see from the reflection of my phone, yes, that is a pink camera. So today we're going to run through how to use a ROM installer to install the latest version of SOS X and N. Now, of course, I can't guarantee these are going to be bug free. You know, it's early on in the days. But don't worry, we'll get all these worked out in the next couple weeks and then we'll just start adding more features and you guys will be like, this is friggin' sweet. Anyway, um, at the I agree box, hit next. Uh, we made it past the splash screen and the disclaimer. We got a change log here, which I will try really hard to keep up to date. I know I've been bad at it lately. Then you're agreed with a couple options. You have your typical installation, which you know, as if you want the boring old SOS X Dex install, you can just hit that button, hit install now at the bottom and go. Or, which I recommend everyone do because I mean, you're probably gonna wanna change one of these settings, um, is hit custom, uh, custom installation. Uh, your first choice is uh, ROM type. And yes, that is one of my roommate's cat's hairs on my phone. Um, I'll recommend Odex. Um, you can choose any one you want. It doesn't matter what you're running right now. If you're running uh, the old SOS X 2.08, feel free to switch over to the Odex now. Uh, you have to realize your system partition is wiped during every ROM installation you ever uh, install. So, um, and all the Odex files are strictly on the system file for this ROM, just to keep things simple. Um, so yeah, you'd be good to good. <laughs> good to good. You'll be good to go if you select SOX Odex, but you're currently running um, the Deodex. Uh, at that point, uh, you have to remember which version you chose, X or N, and if you chose Deodex or Odex. As you can see later on when we get down to some of the choices down here, like the SOSN lock screen, that's specific to SOSN. Uh, the dock, that's specific to SOSX. And you'll notice as you look, some of these are specific for Deodex, some of them are specific for Odex. So remember your choice. So, pop quiz, what I choose, SOSX and Odex. So remember that for the rest of the time. When I choose an add-on, I must choose those options. Uh, next up is some kernels. Uh, I just grabbed uh, what I think are the three best kernels out there right now uh, for the Evo 4G. You have to realize all these custom kernels will cause a co uh, problem with the front-facing camera. It'll be like sideways. If you use it like with Skype or, well, Google Plus might have an issue uh, beyond itself. But if you use like Skype, if you just turn your phone sideways, it won't really be a problem. But if you, you know, are doing this, your camera's going to be sideways. They'll, I think they see you normally. I don't know. I don't use my front-facing camera ever. But just realize that you can use the stock kernel if you don't want that problem. I don't know why these green things are staying in. It's the first time this has ever happened to me. Um, uh, I'm going to go with Anthrax right now because I like that kernel. And eh, I'll go with Underworld. Make that damn thing go away. There we go. I figured out how to make it go away. All right, so SOS X Odex. We're going to go with the Underworld kernel. going to charge my phone up. Got to go on a drive in a little bit. Um, got a couple boot animations here. These are universal. You can use it with all versions. Uh, think about including SOS S. Uh, this will stay universal. Probably include a couple more. Uh, Evolved Android is pretty sweet, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do that one. I do have the default one that does include the boot sound. So if your phone is on loud and you're doing this in your office or your classroom, watch out. <laughs> it will be loud. Uh, and then we got some fonts. Uh, I might throw Conforta in there if you guys remember uh, swagged out stock fans from back in the day. Uh, Conforta used to be the stock font on it and maybe a couple others that look cool that work well with the uh, uh, stock interface. Um, now, if I would have selected this big no-no, that's a Deodex modification. Okay, Do not select that. Um, I'd want to select one of these Odex ones. I actually really, really prefer the default setup. Now you'll notice that it says Deodex or Odex. Why is that? Well. During the stock installation, it's going to install either Deodex or the Odex file. So you don't need to worry about that. You don't need to switch it. And that brings up a good point here. Uh, we're at a SOS X specific installation now. This taskbar notification pull down uh, is shared between X and N. And now you're saying, oh, I, I want SOS N, but I, I don't want the, you know, sense dock. Well, maybe you do, but you don't get it <laughs> in a sense for your ROM. Uh, just leave it at the default. The default, what this does is it is it um it leaves the installation um as is so if the rom if the if a rom has been told to install sosn odex for instance it will install sosn odex and that is it all right plain and simple that is all um hmm. so yeah so i want to go with the themed one so don't do deodex go down to odex 
16. I lost my train of thought there for a second. You know, I've included a couple of these extra tabs uh, that just says like, hey, there's themes for this. Um, you can click it. It says don't, but if you click it, it's just going to do the stock installation. So just a heads up for future reference. That's why those are there, just to kind of help you guys. And the SOSN lock screen. Uh, this one's really cool. I had a couple of people request um, to have the HT lock screen. Uh, on the SOSN because you can have the lock screen uh, without all the rest of the sense features it's really easy to add it's just one APK um, so you should be able to just click one of these depending on which version you choose um, now it's one or the other so I got go locker down here so basically if you're not going to select this you probably want to select this but if you're cool with the stock Android lock screen there it is and again if you're using X just leave it as is because this won't touch the installation the first option generally is just going to not touch the installation. Now, I always recommend reviewing your choices really fast. So once again, let's make sure we're not screwing anything up. We got SOSX Odex. The kernel doesn't matter. The boot image doesn't matter. The font doesn't matter. The pull down doesn't even matter. Well, actually, it matters if it's Odex or Deodex. Uh, SOSX mods. So we got the doc, Odex, and then SOSN. We left them all as default. Um, so now we're going to hit next. Next. And then we'll be greeted with a little screen so we're gonna install it. And say yes. And hit install again. There we go. And then it goes. Um future um additions. I know I have to work out the kinks first, and that's just how it always is. Um my big goals are to include um uh kind of install because right now you see extract data files that installs all the all the apps I normally think that all you guys want. I realize, you know, a lot of you at home are like, I don't use ES File Explorer. I use Root Explorer. It's already installed on my phone. I don't need to wipe between installations. But guess what? I'm going to have to go in and uninstall ES File Explorer every time you give me a damn update. Stop it, Swagster. And I, I get it. I get it. So uh, my one of the big goals for the next release in the Realm Installer is to kind of let you select each app that installs. Um, and that that I think that's going to be pretty cool, and so that way I can add a couple more apps that, you know, pretty much everyone uses, um, but you'd have to get from the market, um, anyway. And then it also makes it have to overwrite your apps that you already have and speed up the installation process a little bit. Uh, but this is actually pretty fast. I'm like amazed at how fast it can do all this stuff, and it works out pretty good most of the time. I know there was a little bug. Uh, I created a hot fix for it for those of you out there. So this is just a general tutorial video um, which you should be able to use if any new mods come out just remember the golden rules if you want X use the X mods if you want N use the N mods if you want Deodex use the Deodex mods if you want Odex use the Odex mods got it? good it wipes the caches at the end so you don't have to do that yourself and then you're done now please 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 please, please save logs Yes, it's like a three megabyte file. I don't know how big it is. I said megabyte, I meant kilobyte. I don't know how big it is. It's a super small file. Uh, you wanna make sure this is status zero. It will always say status zero, trust me. If it doesn't say status zero, I did something really wrong with an update and I didn't check it ahead of time. Uh, you can either, if you want, you can uncheck the reboot box and then uh, add additional uh, like zips and stuff. I highly recommend uh, rebooting first like I'm doing. Uh, letting Android just kind of settle down, you know, maybe sign into your Google account and let some of your apps sync or something, just kind of dink around with a little bit, and then go and flash, you know, apps to SD. Then go and flash the, you know, XLoud or Beats Audio or whatever mods you normally flash, you know, before flashing themes and stuff. Like, you know, it, in all honesty, it shouldn't make a difference, but, you know, it's anecdotal to just leave it alone, let it boot up, and then do the modifications. Um, I don't really have anything else to add. I don't know if I should wait for it to boot. We're getting close to the 10 minute mark here. Uh, we know it's gonna boot at this point. We're past that point. Um, really, at this point, I just need people to, uh, this is cool, if you've never seen this before, this is a sweet boot animation. I really just need people to test out the different features, and if you see a problem, Send me that log file because I can see exactly what you installed. All you need to do is say, uh, this isn't working. Tell me what's not working and send me your log file. Plain and simple. Um, and tell me what else you want included in the Aroma installer. 
you know, because pretty much at this point, the ROM's pretty close to being finished. It's just a matter of adding features to the ROM installer, and then, of course, going back and updating all the themes that we already had for this ROM back in the day. Yep, that's pretty much it. I'm out of here. Peace.